Welcome to our weekly scripture reading. Today we're going to begin reading in the book of Proverbs. I'm looking forward so forward to our readings in this book. I pray that we learn much from it. So pull out your Bible, turn to Proverbs chapter 1. Let's read a chapter of God's Word together. Proverbs 1.1 1, 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to receive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity, to give prudence to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase learning, and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel. To understand a proverb and an enigma, the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of your father. Do not forsake the law of your mother, for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains about your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. For if they say, Come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them alive like Sheol and whole like those who go into the pit. We shall find all kinds of precious possessions. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in your lot among us. Let's all have one purse. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your foot from their path, for their feet run to evil, and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird, but they lie in wait for their own blood. They lurk secretly for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owners. Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the chief concourses and the openings of the gates in the city. She speaks her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn to my rebuke. Surely I'll pour out my spirit on you. I'll make my words known to you because I have called and you refused. I stretched out my hand and no one regarded because you disdained all my counsel and would have none of my rebuke. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. Because they hated knowledge. They did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would, they would have none of my counsel and despise my every rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way, be filled to the full with their own fancies. For the turning away of the simple will slay them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will dwell safely and will be secure without fear of evil. Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for this instruction that you gave to us. I just ask that you continue to use it for us, that, Father, we would glory, glorify and honor your name. For us in Jesus' name, amen. I pray the Lord has blessed you from reading God's written word today. If you have a question, a prayer request, or like to receive these readings and daily devotions directly, please feel free to email me at shinethelightforhim at mail.com. Now, tomorrow we're going to go back to our study in Romans with chapter 4. Thank you, and may God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.